Last night, there was a UFC fight in the female category, a very popular category amongst straight men. I guess there's something in about, you know, women just beating each other, wrestling together on the ground. I guess, you know, just a lot of men enjoy it. They don't enjoy football, but they do enjoy volleyball and uh, UFC fights in the female category. Because if you add a little bit of Diddy's back storage products, you're going to think you're in a live shaka like a boom boom show in Amsterdam. Anyways, these two, Aline Perez versus Daria Zelia Kulkulkova. They had a match yesterday, Aileen Perez from uh, Argentina and Daria from Russia itself. The Miss Perez from Argentina gave her a shatak shatak. She fell on the ground. She went into a wrestling position. After Daria fell, she started choking the shit out of Daria and everyone. The audience at the back, the men were screaming, "Do me, do me, choke me!" I don't know why. I, I don't know why I feel like that's how the men are watching a uh, UFC female category. But Miss Daria unfortunately didn't have that Khabib blood in her in the wrestling, you know, area, and she decided to tap in very, very fast, just in the first round. And this is where the whole controversy started, where Miss Perez started twerking on her face. Well, let, let me put it in more clear dialogue for you she started teabagging her now wwe and ufc are very strict with their copyright views i'm gonna try to trick the algorithm in not copywriting this because i do really want to show you the teabagging situation <laughs> And that is when, holy shit, everyone started to lose their shit. Grow some self-respect, you E-positive. What happened to shame? You're a professional. You're looking like a whole ass bitch right now. Fatherless behavior. You are classless. You are cringe and unlikable. You're everything wrong with the sport. You're a disgrace to the sport. You ugly as hell. Shut the fuck up, Dom E. <laughs> Now, after reading all these comments, oh, you are so ugly. You're so ugly. You are a e ho girl, girl, some class. You're classless. You're a disgrace to UFC, to this whole sport. I realized that on the internet, there's a lot of gay people. Everyone's acting like this is the first time that trash talking or trash action is happening towards two UFC fighters. Have you not seen Conor McGregor? And he's just one of the people who's been doing these things. Why does it work? Because you go viral. Unfortunately, nowadays, you cannot just beat someone or, you know, just handshake with someone before the fight and after the fight. Good fight, you know, sportsmanship. You can't do these things because these things don't get views. You're not going to go far in your career unless you're like Khabib or someone like that. So you have to do shit like this. But in her situation... You can't really blame her twerking on her opponent's face after winning half of the people calling her ugly. They wish she twerks on her on their faces after she chokes them out. The level of disrespect and unsportsmanship that's been happening in the past couple of years throughout UFC, boxing, all other sports as well. There's a lot of those. And who is it to blame? Is it the fighters? No, it's the audience themselves because... A normal handshake fight is just not as interesting than, you know, hyping it up with trash talk or even afterwards, once you win, just trashing, having a trashy action towards that person. And also, it's not like she never twerked in her life and she just decided to, you know what, let me just disrespect her by teabagging her during this UFC fight. That's actually her signature move because guess what? I'm 90% sure she has an OnlyFans. <laughs> she is twerking left and right. <laughs> But one post that really pissed a lot of people off was this one saying, I Khabibed the Russian and then twerked on her. And holy shit, the comments coming through. You ugly, you have no class in this port. <laughs> gay, oh, oh, oh. I mean, this is the game. This is how literally it works. And she's trying to literally press on people, press those buttons in people so they will give, a, give her a reaction and the post will go viral. And as you can see, it did go viral because we are talking about it. But another UFC fighter decided to jump on this trend and comment this about her, saying that y'all won't catch me talking shit here on social media, but oh my, how the tables have turned, relating it to this post. And she's also saying the only fans will help you with that 20% deduction. Now, what is the 20% deduction? apparently when she first came for the weigh-ins she was half a pound above the weight
136 and one half pound for Eileen Fiona Perez. If you're wondering, she's not walking and twerking in this scene. She just didn't eat so much and she's been training so hard to lose a lot of weight to make the weigh in. And that's why she's like this. She probably didn't eat for the past 48 hours. That's why her body is all shaky and stuff. But anyways, she didn't make the weight, but it was just a little bit off. Uh, so it was all up to Daria, the opponent, to choose if she wants to fight Miss Paris or not. But they all came to a conclusion for forfeiting 20% of her purse to her opponent. So 20% went to Miss Daria and Daria just agreed so the fight went on. Now back to the backlash, the 20, the only fans will help you with a 20% deduction. She meant it that. And she obviously replied saying, I would rather lose 20% of my purse than half of my hair along with the fight. What is she referring it to? Apparently the other opponent, she cut her hair, she's claiming that, you know, she cut her hair to make the weight and she's still lost. So she's like, I would rather keep my hair. This whole thing is cringe. I have no idea why I'm talking about it. There is no drama in the internet and I'm talking about two female UFC fighters trash talking each other, saying you cut your hair and you still lost. And then this one is saying, well, go to your OnlyFans and do your deduction and twerk for 20... I don't Throughout the whole research, I went through a lot of cringe stuff. And, you know, since I'm so kind, I will be sharing this cringe stuff with you as well. Tracy is scared because she talks a lot about me without tagging me. Ah! I'm not surprised being that you lost to a straw weight. So she said that you cut your hair and you lost to this uh, chopstick. Hey, Tracy Corteza. If you want to fight, let's do it. You fought at 1.30 before. I'll even make the wait this time for you, I promise. Or are you scared and you're going to block me like you did to your replies on X? Ah! Now, I've been teabagged in a game and it feels absolutely horrible. There's a lot of rage that will come out of you. I'm surprised, you know, Miss Daria was just very calm about this whole thing. I think because the fact that... She got 20% of her purse either way. She was just chilling. She didn't really care. But I can't imagine getting teabagged in real life. If I was the one teabagging, like, I wouldn't really teabag in this situation. I feel like the ultimate disrespect will be to just go go in a shitting position, like, as if you're going to teabag, but then fart in their face. Because teabagging is just, like, slapping your basketballs on their face. That's what it means. Like, I'm sitting on you. I just shit it on you. But if you fart... You will forever be in them. All you have to do is just aim at their face. Make sure you aim at the both nose holes. It will go inside them and the, and your fart will stay in them forever. And every time they smell a fart, they'll be traumatized and remembering you. I feel like that's just the ultimate disrespect in this situation. But anyways, just wanted to talk about this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, subscribe if you're new here. Take care of yourself. I will see you at the next one.